hello my friends welcome back to my channel handmade of god my name is sarah and today we are on the day of consecration the very last day of our retreat uh, and also today we celebrate the feast of the holy name of our blessed mother mary and so i'm so excited uh, that we were able to complete this uh, retreat for the 33 days uh, and so today is the day of consecration so let's start the day of consecration a glorious new morning before consecration congratulations you've made it to consecration day now get ready for a glorious new morning in your spiritual life of course you're already ready you've been faithfully preparing for this moment for the last 33 days so here are just three things i recommend by way of final preparation make a good confession but if you don't have the time to do so before the consecration then from your heart tell the lord you're sorry for your sins and make a resolution to go to confession as soon as you can write out or print up the prayer of consecration so you can sign it after you've recited it get a miraculous medal to wear around your neck as a sign of your consecration or at least keep one in your purse or wallet Again, these three things are recommendations. They are not essential for the consecration. Prayer of consecration. Okay, so you're ready to make your consecration. Now you will need the right prayer. You can choose either the one that follows one from the saints or one that you write yourself. Whatever prayer you use, I recommend that you recite it after under attending Mass or even after receiving Holy Communion if there is time. If you can get to Mass, you can still make the consecration. Mass is highly recommended but it's not essential. With or without Mass, after you recite the consecration prayer, I suggest that you sign it, date it and keep it in a safe place. When I renew my consecration annually, I like to recite the prayer from the original copy and then sign and date it again. Anyway, once again, here is the 33 days to morning glory prayer of consecration that summarizes the main idea of the four Marian giants. I, Sarah, a repented sinner, renew and ratify today in your hands, O Immaculate Mother, the vows of my baptism. I renounce Satan and resolve to follow Jesus Christ even more closely than before. Mary, I give you my heart. Please set it on fire with love for Jesus. Make it always attentive to his burning thirst for love and for souls. Keep my heart in your most pure heart that I may love Jesus and the members of his body with your own perfect love. Mary, I entrust myself totally to you, my body and soul, my goods, both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions. Please make of me, of all that I am and have, whatever most pleases you. Let me be a fit instrument in your immaculate and merciful hands for bringing the greatest possible glory to God. If I fall, please lead me back to Jesus. Wash me in the blood and water that flows from his peer's side and help me never to lose my trust in this fountain of love and mercy. With you, O Immaculate Mother, you who always do the will of God, I unite myself to the perfect consecration of Jesus as he offers himself in the spirit to the Father for the life of the world. Amen. After consecration. What comes after we make our maiden consecration? Lots of grace and a glorious new morning. But as morning turns into day, we may begin to wonder how we should live out our consecration. Do we just make it once and then forget about it? No. The following three points will help us live it out to the full. Renewal, attitude and devotion. Renewal. St. Louis de Montfort recommends that we renew our consecration at least once a year on the same day, though he would encourage us to renew it more, even more frequently. Pope John Paul renewed his consecration to Mary every day. For daily renewal, we can use the same full formula that we recite on consecration day or we can pray a shorter version, version such as this one. Mary, my mother, I give myself totally to you as your possession and property. Please make of me of all that I am and have whatever most pleases you. Let me be a fit instrument in your immaculate and merciful hands for bringing the greatest possible glory to God. Another way to renew and even deepen our Marian consecration is by making this retreat 33 days to morning glory with a group of friends or uh, people from your parish. The group retreat which includes a retreat companion and accompanying DVD is a great way to encourage, uh, enrich our un understanding of Marian consecration. 
attitude how should we live out our consecration what kind of marian attitude should we have this is difficult to explain fully and it will vary from person to person even our four saints differ in the way they express it still they share the essentials saint louis de montfort says that it's not enough to give ourselves to mary just once and then be on our way he believes we need to enter into the spirit of consecration which requires an interior dependence on mary in other words he explains that we should do everything with mary in mary through mary and for mary so as to do it more perfectly with jesus in jesus through jesus and for jesus de montfort homes in especially on the with mary idea and describes it using language that saint maximilian kolbe will later adopt the essential practice of this devotion is to perform all our actions with mary we must have habitual recourse to our lady becoming one with her and adopting her intentions in other words we must become an instrument in mary's hands for her to act in us and to do with us what she pleases for the greater glory of her son and through jesus for the greater glory of the father in this way we pursue our interior life and make spiritual progress only in dependence on mary when colby describes his consecration to mary in a way similar to the citation instrument in mary's hands he believes that no fixed formula exists for living the consecration he thinks that mary herself needs to teach us what it means i don't know anything either in theory and still less in practice about how one can serve the immaculata also colby would say that our consecration to mary should give us an apostolic spirit that seeks to inspire others to make the consecration for as we learned earlier marian consecration is not just the quickest easiest and surest way to holiness for you and me but for everyone and thus it's the most efficient way to bring the whole world to god in christ for sin for mother teresa the living out of marian consecration is essentially an attitude of the heart more specifically it's living with and in mary's immaculate heart pope john paul ii finds the core of how we live out our entrustment to mary in words from the gospel of john and from that hour the disciple took her to his home in other words he understands the attitude of entrustment as bringing mary into everything that makes up one's inner life as the pope of suffering he also gives a corrective emphasis to his theory of marian instrument He does this when he points out that she who most fully united to Christ in his redemptive consecration of himself on the cross helps us to unite ourselves to this consecration devotion to help us deepen our attitude of loving dependence on Mary it's a good idea to practice Marian devotions especially those that are most connected to Marian consecration permanent among these are the rosary The rosary fosters in us the attitude that I just described in the previous section. When we pray the rosary, our focus should be on the mysteries of the life of Jesus. Yet the Hail Marys, which faithfully flow in the background, foster in us the habitual attitude of being with Mary, even as we are going to Jesus. In other words, even if we aren't thinking of the words of each Hail Mary, the words are still there, helping us to contemplate Christ. After the rosary, we have the novenas, icons, and pilgrimages. The, these are also all included in the devotions that uh, will help us cl- get closer to Mother Mary. So, novenas. It is from the Latin word novem. meaning nine a novena is typically a nine day period of prayer to obtain spiritual graces or to implore particular pre- petitions novenas tend to convey a sense of urgency prayed every day for nine days the prayer can be simple as a single hail mary or as elaborate as the litany of loreto icons icons are any tasteful images or representations of jesus mary the angels or saints serve to turn our minds and hearts to god as they remind us of his presence and the loving intercession of mary angels and saints we are showing a sign of reverence towards the person whom the image represents in our busy lives placing pictures of mary in our homes and even in our cars can remind us that she's always with us we can also keep our favorite prayer cards in our pocket or purse pilgrimages pilgrimages lead us from the everyday rhythm and distractions of life to a graced place of prayer and encounter with the lord there are many marian shrines and pilgrimages around the world feast days those who are consecrated to mary should celebrate her feast days with particular fervor and love according to one of pope benedict's favorite philosophers joseph piper man's true luck 
would be his inability to celebrate a feast in a truly festive fashion. To celebrate a feast requires, as everybody knows, that the reality of our life and our world be first wholeheartedly accepted and that this acceptance then on special occasions be expressed and lived out and indeed this means to celebrate a feast. Scripture reads, Saint Teresa of Avila once wrote that for 18 years she would never go to pray without a sp spiritual book, spiritual reading. Spiritual reading can be of great benefit to our life of prayer, help us to deepen our relationship with Mary for it's often the case that the more we know someone the better we are able to love them. So that's it for this uh, consecration day my friends at the end uh, for devotion they just gave us uh, different ways on how we can still live up our devotion to our mother Mary uh, that is through the rosary, novenas, having icons all around our home, going to pilgrimages, um, and then a feast days and spiritual reading so these are just few things and few ways that we can connect ourselves to our blessed mother uh, but i'm very grateful and thankful that i was a thought the lord that i was able to upload every single day for the 33 days uh, and i'll catch you in my next video my friends until then take care stay safe and have a blessed feast of our mother mary's holy name bye bye